Hey family, it's Patsy White with another five minute ministry to motivate your month. You know, where I live is um, it's about 8,500 uh, feet altitude um, above sea level. And so besides the fact that that usually means that the air is quite a bit thinner, and for those of us who came from lower altitudes, learning how to breathe up here has been an interesting walk. But something else about living at high altitude is the fact that cooking ha takes on a whole new dimension. And when I first started cooking after I moved up here, I was like, what is wrong with, why is my rice hard? You know, I don't eat, I don't cook rice a lot, so I don't invest in a rice cooker because it, it would just take up space. And in this little space, I'm not in this little place, I'm not trying to add clutter. It, this is like a, a small space, so I have to really be thoughtful about what I accumulate. But the thing about living in high altitude is that the atmospheric pressure is a lot lower. And so because it's lower, it means that it water evaporates quicker, water boils at a lower temperature. Um, so when I finally figured out how to cook one cup of raw brown rice, it took three cups and an hour and a half <laughs> to make it, you know, to make it um, tender. The other thing is that when I cook my food, it cools off really quickly because the, the air is so thin and the atmospheric pressure is so much less than lower that, that things evaporate. So my hot food becomes cold in minutes. But when I was thinking about it this morning, because I'm about to hard boil a couple of eggs because, um, you know, I'm, I'm in the process of preparing for my webinar tonight. So I want to make sure that food is not in my way. So if I get hungry, I'll eat an egg or something. But I thought about it. It's like, okay, so the higher we are, the less the atmospheric pressure. So the higher we are from the world, the less the atmospheric pressure, the less the world pressure is on us. And so I thought about how that is such a perfect snapshot about what happens when we renew our minds in the word and in the truth that that elevates us out of the pressure of the world and the things of the world that would make us um, you know, stray off path. There were a couple of scriptures that I thought about and I'm going to wrap up pre, um, pretty soon in a minute. Um, um, Galatians 5, 16, and 16 says, I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Or Ephesians um, chapter 5 verse 8 says, For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. And so darkness now, the higher we up are, are up also, we're, we're above the, a lot of the cloud level, which means that it's a lot more light. I think we have over 300 days of sunshine in this, in this area of the, of, the, of the state of Colorado. So we're above the clouds, we're above darkness, we're above the atmospheric pressure of the world. It's a perfect, um, it's a perfect uh, metaphor for our walk in Christ that we want to keep our eyes and our minds stayed on light stayed on elevated things and not get bogged down in the things of the world. So look up, elevate yourself, or just continue to focus on God and God will elevate you. You know, we make a decision of what our minds think about and we make a decision about what we feel. And the more we put our attention and, and um, affections on God, the more God changes us to be more like God. It's a beautiful arrangement. I love it. So uh, that's all I'm going to share today. I hope it blesses you. And um, have a beautiful day. Have a peaceful day. God bless you.